Welcome to the Georgia Forestry Association's Market Minute, a brief analysis of the top issues impacting the forestry community in Georgia and the United States. The Wall Street Journal reports that lumber futures broke another record this Friday. According to a report, home builders have picked up the pace for their busiest year since 2006, and market conditions as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic have caused a greater increase in demand. We caught up with Brooks Mandel of Forest Consulting in Athens, Georgia, to learn more about how these market conditions are impacting the forestry sector. So one of the big topics in the news has been the skyrocketing softwood lumber prices around the country and in Canada. And it's been a question coming from landowners as well because there appears to be a disconnect between softwood lumber prices and stumpage prices, the prices of logs in the woods which haven't moved as much. Uh, there's a couple ways to think about this and people have been writing about it in the Wall Street Journal and other articles. One is that what's interesting is when you look at the history of softwood lumber prices and log prices, they don't tend to move in lockstep. Almost never in the history of the industry, there's often a lagging relationship. So lumber prices will go up and six to 15 months later, log prices will start to increase as well. One exception for that is when there's really tough weather, when you want dry weather logging and, and high landings and things to get access to logs in the rain. But during normal market conditions, there isn't a super strong relationship. And that relationship has become even weaker since the recession of 2007, eight and nine. So even now with skyrocketing lumber prices, what's going on? Here's another way to think about it. One thing that happened in the first quarter of this year, everybody shut down. Recession, COVID, stay at home. And then everybody stayed home. And what they do, they did those do-it-yourself projects and they worked on their deck and they were running to Home Depot and Lowe's and buying that lumber. And while the sawmills weren't running, but people were buying lumber, we ate up all the inventory, housing picked up this summer, and demand has picked up. And now we have folks building homes, doing their projects, and sawmills are really in catch-up mode. And uh, sawmills at these prices, of course, they're gonna produce as much lumber as they possibly can, but they have their challenges as well. And one of those is they're still managing and navigating COVID. While they would love to run three shifts, they're often running two shifts and filling in the holes as people are quarantined or staying home. But when you start to look forward, you expect to see sawmills catching up, inventories fill up again, and lumber prices ease as we move into the fourth quarter. For more information, you can read a blog we posted. You'll find it below in the GFA email. Thank you for your interest in this topic and best of luck in the rest of 2020. GFA member Alex Singleton of International Paper in Port Wentworth, Georgia, was recently featured in a documentary titled Paper Makers, produced by the Paper and Packaging Board. The film tells the story of the modern day paper industry through the eyes of the workers who steward our nation's forests and produce sustainable forest products. GFA member companies Warehouser and International Paper both released ambitious sustainability strategies for 2030. Both companies are setting goals to address climate challenges while leveraging forests and forest products as a solution. GFA President and CEO Andres Villegas commended both companies for their national and global leadership. About 100 years ago, Gifford Pinchot said, our forest should provide the greatest good for the greatest number of people for the longest period of time possible. We see that today in the sustainability story and the results that our efforts so far have led to thriving economies in rural parts of our country. We see that in the abundant wildlife, timber resources, water resources, and carbon resources that our forests are generating throughout America. And we see that throughout um, the products that sustain the, our lives, uh, not only in Georgia, but throughout North America and throughout the world that come from the forest products sector. Increasingly, the world is looking to forestry to solve some of our biggest challenges and we're well positioned to do so. But at the core of that, we always have to make sure that we maintain the trust, not only of elected officials, but of the general public. And sustainability is the path to earning that trust every day, not only for this generation, but for generations to come. That's why I applaud the work of Warehouser and International Paper in setting an example that's important to all of us to make sure that every day in the things we do, we are focused on the sustainability in our operations, in our people, in our natural resources, so that our industry can thrive for the next hundred years. 
That's all for this week's Market Minute. To stay connected to valuable news and resources to grow your forestry investment, visit gfagrow.org or contact us today.